everyone, my name is Adela Edianta. My name is Clarine Jopita. Now we will present our research regarding proving whether the pop-up boat is a thermocastic steering engine. The purpose of this experiment is to find out whether the pop-up boat is a thermocastic steering engine and to determine the effect of several variations on the energy produced. So, pop-up boat is a traditional toy that is often played in Indonesia. But if you look at it, does the pop-up boat actually work using the thermocastic steering engine principle? Let's take a look at the video. The cold side of the thermocaustic engine in the video is on the side near the pipe hole, while the hot side is on the heated side. According to the thermocaustic steering engine principle, this temperature difference will cause oscillatory motion. After the engine has been heated for a few minutes, the water in the container begins to turn into vapor. When the water in the container has completely become water vapor, the water in the pipe will oscillate and the container will move up and down like a breathing motion. After being observed, there is a time gap between the rising and falling of the water by expanding and deflating the container. After careful observation, the time interval is about 0.033 seconds from 0.22 seconds period between the rise and fall of the water in the pipe and the container. This experimental video is also in accordance with the Stirling cycle graph which shows that when the volume increases, the pressure in the container will decrease which is indicated by a collapsing container that can be observed on the graph. As you can see, there is a decrease and there is a time gap of 0.22 seconds that is shown by a curve in the graph before eventually the volume decreases and the pressure in the container increases which is indicated by the container expanding and the graph rising, then there is a pause before the cycle repeats itself. From this experiment, data on the oscillation, amplitude, and period will be taken. Frequency was immediately searched after the data was taken and compared with the frequency obtained using the Helmholtz resonance formula. This is the data that we got. It can be seen that the data is similar. However, there is a difference because the state of the engine in our experiment is not adiabatic, which means there is a phase change from water vapor to liquid, while at the Helmholtz resonance, the condition is adiabatic. In addition, if the oscillatory motion is observed, it also has similarities with the thermocaustic steering cycle if a pressure to volume graph is made. This adds a strong argument that the pop-up boat is a thermocaustic steering engine. Next, we also look for the effect of variations in the shape of the container, the volume of the container, and the material of the container on the energy produced. Energy is proportional to frequency squared and amplitude squared. This is the graph we have created from the container shape variation data. It can be seen that the variation of part 1, which is 16 times 4 times 0.5, produces the most energy. The following graphic shows the data of energy produced categorized by variation of the container materials. It can be seen that the variation 6, which is a harder container material, produces greater energy. This is because the direct energy is transferred completely downwards not to move the container. For variation in the volume of the container, the larger volume of the container produces more energy. Lastly, we also tested whether this pop-up boat could run with only one pipe and it was proven that this variation still produces energy. These are some of the footage we took while doing the experiment. This is one of our experiment videos. For variation 6, we deliberately use glass on the top so that the events that occur in the container can be observed. To sum up, based on the experiment conducted, we believe that the pop-up boat is most likely thermocastic steering engine, where the cold side is on the side near the pipe hole and the hot side is on the heated side. The rectangular shape of the container, the larger volume of the container, and the harder material of the container produce more energy. For further developments, maybe it can be tried to be installed in a series of boats, it can also be tried in other forms such as round shapes but still being applied to pump of boats, and the pipe material can also be changed. And that brings us into the end, we sincerely appreciate your attention and time. Thank you so much for your interest and we hope the information from our presentation will be useful. Bye! Bye.